Now to a tragic story out of Warren where two men are dead. Two police officers also rushed to the hospital in critical condition. It all started with an horrific crash this morning. It was a chaotic moment as the family and friends of victims rushed to the area of Shaner and Prospect for answers. Sadly, right now, there are so many more questions than answers. 7 News Detroit reporter Faraz Javid elevating the voices of loved ones waiting for the results of an investigation. Two people are dead. Two officers are in critical condition after an accident this morning around 5 on Prospect and Shaner. As a matter of fact, right behind me, you can see cleanup efforts underway. Now, as the investigation continues, one of the biggest questions that the family members of the two victims are asking is what led to this moment. This was the aftermath that unfolded after the crash, with family members and friends of the two deceased victims finding it hard to contain their emotions. I'm still trying to get it together real, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to get it together, stay strong for my cousins, my sisters, my cousins, my aunties. Maurice Perkins is the cousin of 35-year-old Cedric Antoine Hayden, who was killed this morning after the white Dodge Durango flipped over. Maurice says Cedric was riding along with his friend, Dewan Pattis. Maurice says both men had wrapped their overnight shift at Chrysler. It was on their way home. He was on his way home to his daughters. He got two daughters. However, everyone is still puzzled about how this all happened. And what's bothering me is that I'm looking at the car and I can, I'm just looking at how, how the cars look. Dewan was rushed to the hospital, but it was too late. Cedric was pronounced dead at the scene. As the investigation continues, Warren police say the accident wasn't a result of a high-speed pursuit. This was a car accident. Um, the officers were clearly driving. Um, as far as what they were doing, where they were going, what they were doing, I don't want to comment on that. I don't want to speculate. It's still too early on. And obviously with them being in surgery, I haven't had any chance to talk to them yet. Lieutenant John Gajewski says one of the officers was trapped in the patrol vehicle and had to be extricated. Both injured male officers have been with the department for five years, and both of them have a wife and kids. We want to know lots of things, and one of the, one of the things we've done to ensure impartiality for transparency is calling the Macomb County Sheriff's Department to do an independent investigation. Um, we, we owe that to everybody here to make sure the right information is obtained. Meanwhile, Yvonne Washington can't believe her grandson Cedric is gone. He was a real sweetheart. He was quiet. Uh, never did anything to anyone. What are you going to miss about him? Man, the laughing, man. He's a jokester like me. Man, it's just a lot. He stopped, like, he when, when, when I seen him stop doing certain stuff to change his life, man, that really made me change some stuff that I was doing. There's no winners here today. It's a hard day for everybody. Now, as the investigation continues, we'll be following with the police to find out how all of this unfolded. In Warren, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 News Detroit. Thank you, Faraz.